AB 134 contains provisions intended to help organize labor by pulling in the Labor and Workforce Development Agency. I also have some issues with this. Back in 1993, I was recruited to run for county treasurer. It really wasn't something I wanted to do. I was a business major, not a poli-sci major. And uh, after I uh, went through that uh, fun exercise and was serving as county treasurer, uh, and serving on the pension board, you know, maybe I'm a slow learner, but I kind of started to, to watch what was going on and saw the unions trying really hard to improve pension benefits uh, from 2% at 50 to 3% at 50 for the deputy sheriff's union. And I just thought, this is never going to happen. This is impossible. This is a 50% increase. Uh, and then when I saw it pass, 5-0, it, it, was, it was like an awakening. It was like, what? What is going on? And you kind of just start doing some research and uh, you realize after a while that unions actually control the electeds. Um, they, they make uh, contributions, direct and indirect. 90% uh, of those contributions go to Democratic candidates. And this small percentage of the population of the workforce, uh, is an, um, it, it's amazing how strong their influence is. But I saw it as a conflict of interest. I, I decided to run for supervisor because I wanted to address some of these pension issues and retirement medical issues. And, and so I just said, I am not taking any contributions from any of the public employee unions at the County of Orange. I just, that was just a policy that I put on myself, <clears throat> still have it. And uh, we've, we've seen more Republicans uh, doing that as well in Orange County. But uh, when you watch the influence, the project labor agreements, the requiring employees to do all the work as opposed to nonprofits, AB 1250 this year is a real wake up call for me. In fact, in committee, I actually asked the author, who is your daddy? It was like, what is going on? Why is there so much of a push uh, in this direction? And so now Tesla, uh, which is doing real well, and, and believe me, I have not been a fan of electric cars on the floor. I've sort of, you know, Elon Musk is not going to put me on his credit uh, on his Christmas card list. But um, you know, they came and and the employees said, "We're happy. What what are you doing? Why why, why should we uh, be subjected to this?" And it asked made me ask in committee, you know, who is running uh, this state? So colleagues. You look at the bottom eight states in this country and their finances, and they're all blue states, and they're funded by unions, public and private. And we're mismanaging financially because we're kowtowing to every, almost every request. And now Tesla gets to, to experience this dynamic in the public sector. And then what's funny is when everything falls apart, when the county can't make the pension payments, the, we can't blame the unions. The unions turn around and say, wait a second, you're the elected. You voted for these things. It's your fault, not the unions, because you voted for the bills. And we're putting ourselves, colleagues, into that kind of predicament. And so I find it uh, very troubling and therefore, I will be opposed to AB 134. Thank you, Madam President.